Fam, what's up? Welcome back to the CEO Pulse Podcast, where you get the real, the raw, and the mind of entrepreneurship. Uh, we are here sitting down uh, and bringing you another episode of the Mindset Monday series with my co-host, Justin Thorstad. Sounds like the uh, Mexican Mario. Yeah, sort of, I guess. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Good, beep, 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 bow. Yeah, I like it. Uh, yeah. Well done. Uh, that was actually a... Thank um, you for that uh, custom um, intro. La, La Bamba, but, but yeah. Oh, okay. It's, 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 tomatoes, tomatoes. Yeah, so. whatever it yeah. works. So, <laughs> <laughs> bro, I was trying to be creative, man. I liked it. Why are you judging my creativity? I, no, no, it was... I uh, feel like we should talk credit. on this episode about the importance of having a creative outlet. That would be fantastic. You, you see what I did there? Yeah, there's power in that. <clears throat> you see I, what I did I, there? Yeah. I noticed. Yeah, yeah so. I think everybody else did <laughs> <laughs> Another episode um, of the Mindset Monday podcast. Let's talk about where ideas come from, right? Um, one of the things that before we hit uh, that, rec- um, we went live. Um, the uh, we were talking about was was you know sometimes it can be daunting to to try to create this b- big perspective of life that we want to live, right? And and have this this organic flow of ideas. If you're um, if you tend to be leaning more on the analytical side of a of a personality profile, like the creative side is gonna be a challenge, right? Uh, there's people who have absolutely no no challenge with being creative, however, they have a challenge with being focused. Mm-hmm. Um, executing. Yeah, and executing, <laughs> right? So, so I mean, there's, there's a lot of variables, right? But at the end of the day, like there is uh, no, uh, I mean, refuting, right? That there is an importance in, in having a creative outlet, having something that just kinda, you know, disconnects you from the day-to-day stuff that we go through. Yeah. Um, and more importantly, it, uh, it, it primes your brain to, to think fresh. 100%, yeah, yeah. so many <coughs> variables. Um, and uh, like starting this new creative outlet, yeah. I was reminded of so many, like in my opinion, important lessons and things to remember some mental constructs, you know, that support me in doing everything else I do in my life. Yeah. And so uh, there, there's a tremendous amount of power in having that outlet. Yeah. yeah. What it creates and generates for you. Um, and um, what I've noticed is because I haven't had one in many years, like without it, man, everything is just all about my businesses. You which, mean, which you are mean beautiful. That, you mean that for many years you've been just work, 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 work. Yeah. But I mean, I mean, the only like work, I guess, <clears throat> yeah. uh, has been uh, 2023. But yeah. prior to that, like it was all fun and play. And uh, last year, it seemed like work a lot. Uh, there was a, you know, a lot of startups and, and yeah. just, um, it just seemed like a grind a little bit. And so uh, I was inspired to start this outlet and uh, just some beautiful awarenesses that I get to take into you know, all other areas of my life. And it's also brought in a, a newfound sense of like creation and fun and play. Uh, yeah, it's just been real beautiful. It's uh, let me make a uh, just kind of like a segue here. You you picked, I mean, in my head, it's one of the most interestingly weird things that somebody can pick. Is it for for a creative? Well, it's no, it's definitely maybe, peaceful. Yeah, it's me being biased because I've never done it. Yeah, um, so <clears throat> I'm addicted now too. Yeah, it's, but I mean, I wouldn't. I, I guess I guess it makes sense, right? But I would not picture you as a bonsai guy. You know, like, uh, who knew you, you? Yeah, you stand there and then you play with this plant for hours and mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And, and it just like brings you to Zen. And I, I mean, I've, I've never done that. Like, it, it's yeah. so to now, <clears throat> like I'm, I'm uh, a little bit, uh, you know, pissed off at everything. That's not that like I got to It's keeping me from my my bonsais. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> That's something that like my, I think my <laughs> grandpa would say. Right. Yeah. Yeah. It's like a retired man. Yeah. 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 Retired man. Somebody who just wakes up at three in the morning, waters the trees and the, you know? the plants and everything. <laughs> yeah. So, so yeah. But uh, <clears throat> no. Anyway, my babies. It, it's it, and it's look. That's what's so amazing about it, right? Like for example, you don't in, in my head, you don't fit that profile. Like, I I would never think of buying you a bonsai tree. Like I would I just no, like, don't because that's already done. Yeah. No. Well. I okay. get the point. I'm so just, if it I'm wasn't, just yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> if it wasn't, right? <laughs> um, but that, that's the thing about creativity. You never know how it's gonna strike you. You never know how yep. it's gonna, you know, uh, fit in with the stuff that you're doing. And again, what it does, it's almost a, <clears throat> a. I mean, I see it as a. Uh, for me, it's music, right? Yeah. But I see it as an active meditative state. 
hundred um, percent. It really is. Like I'll be playing, for example, I'll be singing a song and playing a song and 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 you know the guitar and and going to town on this thing, and at the same time I'm I'm thinking about other stuff. It, it, so it's 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 not like after you get into this state of flow because you're you're in that creative space, um, it, it's it does consume, but it like my creative juices start going and it, yeah. it, it like I don't know like I don't know how to explain it. You it's know, like somebody it's, opened a valve. Yeah, you know what I mean, <clears throat> and things just start flooding through. Yeah, and uh, and sometimes I'll be like super tired mentally, right? Because I worked all day and doing the stuff that I love, you, you know, coaching and and you know systems and ops and you know, you know whatever, right? Um, at the end of the day, like you still get drained, you get tired, yeah. mm-hmm. um, and I'll I'll grab the guitar. I even have a guitar in my office, so I'll grab the guitar, play a couple, a couple of songs, and it's like it's almost like rejuvenating. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you know, I, I think it just goes to show, like one of the powers of having that creative outlet is, you know, you're so focused on what you're doing because it's just for play, it's just for fun, it's just yeah. for an expression, right? It's an yeah. art form, if you will. Yeah, and that puts you in a state where you don't have to use your mind to really focus on a task per se you're just being with the si- the moment the situation right. what you're doing yeah. and that's mindless yet focused it's a weird dichotomy but what i'm saying is that like yeah at the end of the day man you're using your mind all day long right so it's like a muscle and it's tired at the end yeah. but when you're doing something to just do it and you enjoy the process in itself and that's the fulfillment like yeah it, it's revitalizing and things like come through you almost like you're a conduit for it right yeah <clears throat> I heard uh, this a while back, and, and I don't know where it where it came from, but when you're tired, work out your mind. When your body's tired, work out your mind. Mm. When your mind is tired, work out your body, right? Yeah. If they're yeah. both tired, then take a nap. But but <laughs> but it's like a lot of a lot of time is going to be you know pumping that uh, that blood flow through it, or or you know the same as ideas. Um, <clears throat> so it's it's important to to just have the awareness, right, that we're not. Uh, we're not robots. We, we're meant to think. We're meant to be creative. We're meant to come up with stuff that's, uh, you know, in the realm of critical thinking, right? And if all we're doing on, on a day to day is um, is just going through the motions without yeah. adding some salt and pepper or and spice into our just our thought process alone, right? Yeah. Variety, like, yeah. variety. Yeah, exactly. Like, how long do you think that's gonna that's gonna last before you get burned out? Yep. I hate it when people say I'm bored. <laughs> Dude, it's a, it's a. I mean, pardon my French, but it's a fucking trigger. Oh man, I am bored. Follow me around for a day. Like no, <laughs> if you're bored, you're being boring. Like just yes, thank like, you, like, thank you. Yeah, it's I you. Mean, <clears throat> so so especially with my like my kids. Well, one of them says that all the time. Oh yeah, I'm bored. No, like bro, you're being boring. Um, but Shit, it's go it's, do the dishes. Yeah, exactly. So wash a car or something. <laughs> but it, it's um, it, it's again. It happens, and and it happens more often. It happens at work. It happens, you know, on our downtime. It's like, oh, I got nothing to do. I'm bored. And like, well, get into that creative space, right? Yeah. Ideas are not flowing, quote unquote. Well, I mean, do something that just draws the ideas out of you. Right? Yeah. Well, you know, for me, it's like I haven't had a creative outlet in years. Like, I don't even know the last time I had one really. And um, for me, it was not that I was bored, but it was like. I've got so much to work on yeah. and uh, I had been feeling so far behind all the time anyways yeah. that when I have a free moment to just like stop and breathe, I'm like, okay, what do I want to do? And I look at my to-do list, which is like three pages long and I'm like, I don't want to do any of that, but I want to do something. Yeah. You know what I mean? I want to just enjoy myself. <clears throat> and um, yeah, so we were at dinner and uh, a family member said something about uh, uh, she's doing these bonsais. She's got like a hundred of them. She's showing me pictures and I was like, man, that, that looks kind of cool. Like, I'm going to give it a shot. <laughs> I mean, I still haven't done any, like, education, <clears throat> per se. I'm um, just going for it because that's my, that's my yeah. natural tendency. And I've got a bunch of plants now, and I'm just, you know, shaping them and cutting them and, and whatnot. And, um, uh, man, it's rejuvenating, really, yeah. to just, like, if you think about it, like, if, if you're bored or you're burnt out, either way, like, to have something that you can do that uh, is mentally stimulating peaceful uh it's fun uh man it, it's put me in a flow state like i'm all in the situation without really thinking it's it's weird to articulate that but it <clears throat> i it's identical to a flow state you yeah. know when like hours can pass and you look at the time you're like oh shit, i thought it was 15 minutes it's been three hours it's like that's really cool and i'm not tired when i'm done you know what i mean yeah and so i used to experience that state in business a lot 
especially when we started like our mastermind and so forth years ago. Uh, and I hadn't been in that state much at all in the last year until <clears throat> I started this. And so it was a beautiful reminder of what that can look like. And then I get to look at, okay, how can I transpose the, from the creative outlet into my business? You know what I mean? So where's the joy? Where can I enjoy the process in and of itself and the mindful focus uh, because I choose to. And man, if you could be in a flow state in your business all the time, what would your results look like? <clears throat> and you know, because we have, right? Yeah. And uh, so it was just a beautiful reminder that just being one of the valuable lessons uh, through this creative outlet. So, so um, one of one of the uh, <clears throat> one of the things that it does for me, um, it, it's and you said something very important, right? Like it, it'll keep you in a state of flow. Um, there's no wrong way of being creative. I feel like they're, they're, like you don't have if you're being creative and you're drawing, you're playing music, you, whatever, whatever mm -hmm. sounds right. Like in that aspect, right? For example, for you, your bonsais, they may look weird and and like like they make no sense to me. But for you, it's it's just bringing you into that groundness yeah. that uh, that we all need as entrepreneurs because most of the time we're flying a thousand miles an hour. Right. Right. <clears throat> So whatever that is, there's no there's no wrong way to go about it when you know as far as a result, right? If you're if you're in your creative space, um, you're gonna find a flow because it's gonna be a lot easier to flow with with something that's like it's 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 individual, right? Yes. It's just to you. It's personal to you. you. Me being creative, it's like dude. When I play, for example, I'll go back to music, right? When I play music, um, I got used to playing for myself. Mm -hmm. I would just get you know in my room and start playing in, in, and I would close my eyes, right? So I'm closing my eyes because I'm in my song, I'm in my music, I'm listening to the notes. Feeling and I'm it. Listening, yeah, I'm feeling it, I'm there and I like, I'll do, you know, go all out, right? But it's me playing for me. Yeah. Uh, so now when I, like, I mean, you've seen me, when I play it, like I still close my eyes when I'm playing. It's because the song is, it's my creative you know the process right yeah like, even if we're at dinner <coughs> in mexico and there's a live band and he gets up there and grabs the guitar <clears throat> yeah <laughs> no it's actually pretty cool yeah, yeah. but y y you're right like there's there, no there was tequila involved right? yeah like in my defense <laughs> it wasn't of too course. bad yeah no it was it was great actually uh, i still have that video on my phone so wow. um but what i love about it and, and what you're saying really to, to encapsulate that is it's a form of perfect self-expression so yes. it's an art there right there, there can there be no go. wrong answer and so that was the thing like starting this as a as a beginner a novice not knowing what the hell i'm doing it's like uh, I noticed that I was like, well, wait, wait, I don't want to cut too much because like, what if I cut something wrong or yeah. cut off too much or da da da? And like, I, what I noticed is that I was hesitating from really getting into action with some of the plants yeah. because I didn't want to mess it up. And like, wait a minute, I've never done this before. I don't have an education in it. That's the process. And yeah, like mistakes are how you learn. Like, yeah. why would why was I afraid to make a mistake as a beginner? Because I'm going to. Like, it's yeah. inevitable. They're, they're necessary for your evolution <clears throat> to make mistakes. That's how you learn. And so when I realized, oh yeah, I'm a beginner. Yeah. I'm gonna give myself permission to make mistakes and fuck up because I will. Yeah. And I'm gonna learn some valuable things from that. And the first couple aren't gonna be a masterpiece. Like, yeah. You know what I mean? So what are you worried about? Like perfection? Like that doesn't exist in my <clears throat> consciousness. So just move forward and have fun. And when I did that, because I acknowledged what I was doing, the dynamic, man, it just took off. The uh, the interesting, you know, part about the whole thing is like it, it's it's a really cool view um, to who we are from ourselves, uh, if that makes sense, right? Like as you're going through it, for example, you're, you're, you're hesitating, right? Because you don't want to cut off this branch. And then, but if you ask yourself, like, why am I thinking so hard about it? Like you started putting yourself in this space of awareness uh, because of that creative process, right? And then you ask yourself like, man, is this, is this how I do everything else? Am I just being hesitant about the stuff that I don't understand, even though I know it's got a, a you know, good outcome? Like what's holding me back? Yeah. So we, we, we <clears throat> When we start studying that kind of stuff about ourselves, man, we, we give ourselves the answers that we often seek, right? Totally. Um, in your business and in your relationships, yeah. 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 Um, the uh, one thing that happens, like it's a common thing uh, for me, like if I'm not hitting a note on a song, or it's usually become uh, like I'm under committing to the song. Mm. Right. So that I mean, that's been one of the biggest lessons that I've learned. Fascinating. Yeah. From from playing. That's huge. Just playing, you know, my music being for myself. Right. Yep. It's like, no, I'm not hitting the note or I'm not I'm like, no, I'm just I'm under committing to a song. I'm not committing to the song. And I'm playing, you know, I'm being like super like technical on uh, yeah. as opposed to not feeling it, bro. And I'll pick up a guitar and depending on my energy, 
like it, it's it's I know how it's gonna be it's like all right this is a field play or no this is gonna be a technical song like because I'm just not in the mood yeah. to feel it so so the interesting thing about that is that <clears throat> I, I, it, through the creative process or the outlet right I get to see a whole different side of me that I, I maybe I wouldn't even be aware of if totally. I was just caught in the in the day-to-day yeah. stuff it's like a mirror yeah it's reflecting back. so so ladies and gents out there like if if all you're doing is is doing the work and and, and going to the grind and then you know just on the you know getting caught in the day-to-day stuff understand that there's a different side of you that you're probably missing out on yeah uh, and that side can be can be a beautiful blessing if you tap into it the easiest way to see that kind of you know the kind of stuff within us is, is you know tapping into that creative outlet whatever yeah. that is well and you know if you would ask me <coughs> even you know three months ago like hey do you have a creative outlet I'm like who's got time for that man yeah I got shit to do you know what I mean mm-hmm. and it's like and and then if I were to borrow your belief that it's important then yeah. I'd go to yeah but I don't know what to do and to those people I'd say do anything just get started with something like you can change your mind about it what are you curious about like, yeah just yeah go for that like go have fun yeah because the thing about it is like what I noticed in myself was through that last year like it, I was just um my cup wasn't full man and that's a, a weird experience for me because typically my cup is overflowing yeah and you can't give something you don't possess right so if my cup is empty or it's only got 10% in there, how much are you really given? <clears throat> only what you got, 10%. Yeah. Now it might be 100% of your 10%, but then you got nothing, right? Yeah. And you're of no value to yourself or anybody else around you. Right. So what's your strategy to fill your cup in such a way that it, the abundance overflows and you get to share all of that with the rest of the collective, your loved ones, your friends, your family, your followers, whatever it is, you know what I mean? It's like, that's a, that's a responsible approach, yeah. meaning it, responsible just like ability to respond to yourself and like take care of number one which means it's got to be a priority and if it's a priority don't you schedule that like because for me i always came last man yeah like i'm gonna take care of my responsibilities my obligations when that's clean and clear then i can relax it's like no because there's always shit to get done and it never all gets done and so when am i going to invest time into me yeah you know what i mean so a bigger better version of me shows up to my responsibilities and obligations yeah, I love it, dude. Um, <clears throat> we we change. We're always like adjusting our, our like morning rituals and, and that sort of thing. So a couple, uh, maybe a year ago, uh, even if, I think if you go back and listen to some of the older podcasts and and uh, and just in some of the videos that I put up on the YouTube channel and all that stuff, I'm talking about the morning ritual and then meditation is first, and then I had this hour, I had this time slot committed to creative thinking. So I, I literally called it my creative thinking um, hour, right? And and it wasn't, I wouldn't look at emails. I wouldn't look at, you know, anything that I, you know, anything like built business related, right? It was mm-hmm. something completely, uh, you know, outside of it. Uh, I would either sit down and, and, uh, and work on ideas that I had, f- you know, for a book. Um, I, I, I wrote a book. I have a full-blown book that I've never published. Maybe I should get around to it. <laughs> Um, What's it called? So, so uh, it's over the leap. Um, so it's an entrepreneurship book. It's really weird. Oh, weird. <coughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, so I'm still playing around. Like I have a couple names. Anyways, the final editing hasn't happened, but I've been working on that as a passion project for for a while, right? And it's and I would like that was my hour when I would go in there and then actually you know work on on mm. on, on the book. It's fascinating. Or I, just I would found out about this. grab the guitar. I think I mentioned it a while back. I just never I made I haven't made noise you know around it. I should publish it. It's not on accident. I'll publish it this, this year. How's that? We're going to talk after we hit yeah. the stop. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, so you know, but I, I had that time in there uh, that was specific for for creative thinking. It wasn't journaling. I would do my journaling during my meditation, right? It was just like, you know, that was generating ideas. It's just getting excited about, like, oh, the yeah. potentiality of life, right? Possibilities. How grand can, can it, you know, can it be? And, and just fucking thinking outside the box. Yeah. Um, and, and I, I pulled back from it. I think it just got busy I, you know, the, the, the schedules with the kids and everything. it's easy not to do yeah, it. It's easy not to do it. Right. Mm-hmm. So thankfully it's like music has always been a thing for me. So I always go back to, to music, to my guitar and I make it a 20 second thing. Um, the, the, you know, one of the oldest principles in, in, in productivity is like, if you want to do something and build a habit, make sure that you can get to that within 20 seconds. Mm. 
Um, so you see guitars all over my my house. Yeah, yeah. They have a guitar in the my wall. bedroom. Yeah. I have eighteen guitars on a wall. I have two other guitars in my office. Yeah. Another guitar. So it's just because I want to play guitar, it's right? Accessible. So it's twenty seconds to to picking up that thing and I'll play. So I I, th I feel like that's the one thing that kind of has helped me keep that creative outlet mm -hmm. going. Um, but being intentional matters, right? Carving out time to okay, this is this. Is, I mean, we carve out quote unquote me time. Uh, you know, for Netflix or whatever, but yeah, like, or why, Call why, of Duty or something. Yeah, yeah, something like that, right? It's my me time. Um, and but why not? You know, intentionally creating uh, this the space for for bigger thinking. Yeah, and and you know the difference between and you know relax if you play Call of Duty. I'm not not dogging <coughs> on that. I'm just saying like yeah, he is. Um, <laughs> something yeah. that puts you in a, a a beautiful elevated flow state. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like uh, that would be the highest and best. And hey, listen, if you find yourself in that state with um, playing war games, like, cool. Um, but something that's really an expression of you. Right. Not just something you do. You know what I mean? It's an art form. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's interesting. Um, <clears throat> I was talking about, uh, like, this morning, I was actually talking to a lady who, who um, she's a musician. She does real estate, does mortgages. Um, and and she plays. Uh, so she, she actually performed at the uh, Christmas party this year here at the office. Mm. Uh, crushed it. It's like, hey, so we were talking about she wanted to do some other stuff and whatnot. And uh, and like she had a great rendition of um, of um, Tennessee Whiskey, right? Mm. And this is one of my favorite songs. I love that song. But she crushed it. And and I told her, I said, like, yeah, I mean, I felt w when she was singing it, she, f she, s she was singing it with a passion, right? And <clears throat> usually what happens is we'll, we'll have a creative outlet and then look at that creative outlet as, okay, it's my passion. I'm going to try to monetize it. I'm going to try to, you know, do whatever, right? Like when I, I used to play at nightclubs, I used, so I used to mm -hmm. play at bars in, in Mexico and, and, and uh, you know, do the, the whole uh, gig thing. And um, a lot of my friends just kind of stuck with music, right? So they, they, they turned it into a job. And that creative outlet... Um, you know, after a while, it became like, man, it's just a job. Like, I'm not playing with mm. the same energy. I'm not yeah. playing. So it stops being that creative outlet, and it, it because it gets tax uh, tasky. Um, and now, a creative outlet, I think by by definition, right, it's something that just brings that other energy. Uh, it it just draws it out. I mean, I don't know. It can be crafting. It can be you know whatever. Anything. Yeah. Anything. Right. I, I, I made a uh, what a little video, and uh, someone said that they used to color. It's yeah. like they're not going to monetize that and they don't need to. But I will say this because like, I've had a couple private clients, coaching yeah. clients that they have that creative outlet and they just lose all track of time and their product is really amazing. Yeah. And I said, what? <clears throat> why don't you monetize that? And they said the same thing as they were afraid that that would happen. Yeah. And it's like, yes, you can fall down that path if you're not paying attention. But if like if you're doing it in addition to how, right. how you earn your money and you don't require that money. It's not like, the thing, right? Yeah, right. you're not doing it for the money. But once you flip <clears throat> that script and you start doing it for the compensation, like now it becomes a task. Yeah, because you have an, uh, you have different energy behind it. It's yeah. not it's not creative anymore. It's it's survival. <laughs> yeah, well, no, yeah, but um, there's a uh, a book I read and it talks about like uh, extrinsic and intrinsic motivators. I think we did a, an episode on on part yeah. of it, but uh, they they took these artists and they said, okay, we want you to just paint whatever you want to paint. And it's just an expression of you. And they painted these paintings. And then they had uh, another control, same artist, do uh, commission pieces. So a client hired them, told them what they wanted, and they painted it. They had experts come in and assess all these paintings. There was dozens of them. And it was a blind study. They didn't know, you know which was which. And inevitably, 100%, the ones where they were just doing it to do it, not the commission pieces, they ranked higher from, you know, uh, people that assess art as far as technicality, yeah. creativity, all of that. <clears throat> the ones that were commissioned, none of them made the score compared yeah. to the ones that they were just expressing themselves. There, there's something about, you know, putting putting the, uh, you know, genuine cre creativity behind something, yeah. behind a piece, behind a, I don't know, a song, behind you know for example your retreat like there's something that that encapsulates that energy right and you people feel it people like yeah. man like there's you'll see something and it's like man there's a lot of work that went into that um there was a you know big you know a lot of emotion a lot that of was love behind, a lot of love yeah. yeah so we like that transcends i, th I think it's hard it to explain I, I, I well it, let me let me try to, to capture that <clears throat> so what i'm noticing is like 
when you're doing a thing and it truly is just an expression of yourself, perfect self-expression, full of love, you're not doing it for any other reason yeah. other than the process itself, the highest and best outcome is had. Yeah? Yeah. And that product now becomes more valuable to everybody else. Yeah. And so having a creative outlet where you can remind yourself of these things and you can experience them, the key then is, okay, how do I transpose that state and bring it to my business Yeah, where I'm creative? And because here's the deal, like people are afraid to express themselves, man. It, short of like actors, actresses, and musicians, like yeah. who play in front of people, most people are hiding their perfect self-expression. They're dimming it down because a long time ago they were told you suck. It, it doesn't sound good. <clears throat> it looks like shit. Whatever the case is. You're too loud. Yeah, yeah, totally. Whatever. And so like they're projecting who they think they should be to yeah. get the approval. And it's like, no, wrong. We each have our own uniqueness and our unique way of expressing that. And that is our gift. That's our talent. And instead of like shoving it down and throwing dirt on it, why don't you dust it off, bring it out and show the world, man. Your weirdness is your value. Yeah. I love that. That's our magic. Yeah, <clears throat> that is our magic. It, it's uh, uh, and understand this: like you're not gonna be a fit for everybody. Yeah, you're not supposed to be. Like, <laughs> yeah, that, I mean Shit. that just cracks yeah. me up, right? Yeah, not even like, ice no. cream is for everybody. You know, like you got different flavors. Some people are lactose intolerant. <laughs> like, oh, come on, what do you? What do yeah. You? Uh, so so it's 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 okay, right? To if you're in your space, if you're in your creative uh, and, and flow state, and you're, you're honoring yourself per se, right? And in who you are and what you're doing and the run, you know the 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 type of life that you're living, uh, you're gonna have haters. You're gonna have like people who don't agree with it. You're gonna have people who say that you're nuts. You're gonna have people who don't understand you. Like who gives a shit? At the end of the day, you gotta do you. It's it's hey. it's a um, it's a space. And I don't know if I'm ranting like no, here no. outside of a, outside of the topic, but but it, <clears throat> that creative outlet allows us or gives us permission to be more of ourselves, to find ourselves if we haven't. It's fucking yeah. scary for me to think. Uh, that uh, that somebody can go through uh, like through their entire life without understanding who they are, you without <clears throat> without understanding what they love, what they enjoy, what things bring you know a smile to their face, what kind of you know relationships they actually value as opposed to you know conforming to this you know this this circle, this space that they're they're growing in, right? You mean, you're talking about ninety percent of the <clears throat> human beings alive and, today, and, and it's it's terrifying, dude. Like yeah. it's. Are like, you're not really wow. living. It's, it's walking around with your eyes closed if you're not tapping into your own creativity yeah. well, for life. Okay, this is, this is the valuable crazy. lesson. Call is me crazy. That Unpopular opinion. The people <laughs> that are afraid of haters, of people like yeah. uh, poo-pooing on their creations. Poo-pooing? That would you run from? Poo-pooing? Yeah, follow you're, me. Follow me. This is important. You're a four-year-old man. You shouldn't say poo-pooing under any, any circumstance. You know what I'm saying. The people <laughs> that are avoiding that thing, Just haters... Saying right yes that which you run from you run into because now people don't like you because why you're inauthentic and i'll say this if you don't have <clears throat> haters not enough people know about your perfect self-expression yet so that's feedback like you yeah. have to have haters and why the hell are you paying attention to that why don't yeah. you pay attention to what you, like you and what <clears throat> you're doing because you know, I used to write down like my truths just to remind me, kind of like an affirmation, but really put some energy behind it. Yeah. And one of them is, I'm not sorry for who I am. Like I owe nobody an apology. Ooh, if you don't accept it and you hate that. it, cool. But um, <coughs> love me, hate me. Uh, if you're paying attention, you feed me energy. So thanks. Yeah. Like you know what I mean? Like you haven't pushed it out there yeah. enough to where so many people know that you found the ones that don't align, that don't resonate with you. Yeah. How that's great. And why do you care? Yeah. Exactly. So, so, um, so understand that, right? The, the creative outlet. I have. I mean, I can think of a few people uh, who I know that, like, man, like this person is a character. Um, but it's almost to be admired. Not almost. Like honestly, like I admire that type of of of, um, of ownership of their own truth. It's it's like, a virtue. I yeah, think. Yeah. Yeah. So like to to I feel like to most of the world, like this person is a little disconnected. It's it's out of whack. But when you see the honesty in what they're going through, mm -hmm. the way they're living their life, the way they're honoring themselves, uh, the way they're they're not ignoring the world around them, but embracing yeah. the, the world around them. Like, this is what it is, but this is who I am. This is who I stand for or what I stand for. Unapologetically. Yeah, unapologetically. Authent being, authentically. You know, me, yeah, authentically. Yeah. And um, and it, it's incredible, right? Like, to, to find that type of person going through life, right? What's happened behind all that stuff? 
um, a lot of uh, self-awareness conversations, a lot of time spent thinking. Um, accepting you know, who, self. Yeah, accepting uh, who I am. Uh, a lot of, uh, you know, uh, hours in being creative as to what the, the, uh, the outlook of their life is like. Yeah. Um, so it, it's not by accident. I feel like at this day and age, it's, everything's so confusing as we're growing up that it, it's hard to stay in authenticity unless it's intentional. Like yeah. you, you have to go back to like, oh, fuck, who, 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 who am I really? Like, yeah, who, the who fuck gets am to decide I? that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, uh, and, uh, and yeah, it's incredible to see it. So, so um, if you're out there and, and you're owning, you know, your truth, right? it's uh you know big big kudos because you know it's it's fascinating i just had awareness like my my inner circle my tribe yeah they're all men <clears throat> that perfectly express themselves and they're not concerned about how people receive them yeah and i'd say that if you're not that person yet how come you don't invite me to that group <laughs> he's part of it he's such a dick if you're not one of those people and everyone knows who you are if you you know have your perfect self-expression being you know just just who you are that means then you're not being authentic to yourself. Yeah. And if you're not authentic to yourself, how can you be with me? Yeah. Do you know what I mean? So like, that's the price you pay and the benefit you get all at the same time. So. <clears throat> Creative outlets, they're very, very powerful. Um, they, they are a must in, in the understanding of who we are. Uh, and, and like, you'll be surprised at the kind of stuff that comes up when you're really spending time in your creative outlet. Uh, I mean, I can't think of a better example than what we're doing here right now. Yeah. This, for you and me, it's a creative outlet. Absolutely. <clears throat> we, we wanted to sit down and then have conversations about just the stuff that we talk yeah. about uh, on a regular basis. And that's not just, being recorded. You know, that's not being recorded. <laughs> <laughs> a little less politically correct. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> and, and go deeper on things, right? But for us, it is a creative outlet. And I feel like, I mean, we say it, we've said it a thousand times on the podcast before, it, it's, it's, it sets us up right for like the rest of the week it's a creative outlet why because it puts you know puts us in check well that's um, why there's no script there's no like predetermined topic like we just yeah go, go to town on it right and, and it's the same thing uh, or it's just as powerful when somebody else has like if you have your own creative outlet like it's going to put you in a space of thinking it's going to put you in a space of awareness um and at the very least it's going to disconnect you right away from the day-to-day -day stuff, from the mundane stuff that you're dealing with on a regular basis and yeah. gonna allow you to think fresh outside of that. So, so it's a very, very important thing. There's no right way. There's no wrong way. It's your creative space. I mean, were you trying to be creative with those socks? Yeah, no, there's a story behind that. Yeah, I want to be unique today. No, that's not why. Yeah, um, yeah. yeah. So We're so out of time today, you, Raph. You, Wrap it up. Okay, you see what I mean? <laughs> there's, no, there's no right or wrong way. Um, <laughs> But now the power behind it is is incredibly beautiful. Like it's it's, uh, um, I mean, it just uncovers a whole new world. So tap yeah. into your creative space. Have if fun. you're the person who's, who's just you know going at it and you know doing the work, I get it. We're entrepreneurs. Uh, we have that you know that chip on our shoulder, shoulder where we have to you know perform, operate, and hustle and all that stuff. I get it. Um, but at the end of the day, there has to be some some refreshment that happens to that idea machine that we have in between our ears. Yeah. Right. It's like a recovery. <clears throat> yeah, it is. Yeah. It's, it's like, you know, it's like a little vacation. Yep. Yep. Uh, on, on daily from the mental from, break yeah. from our daily, from our own daily bullshit. So absolutely. So yeah. yeah, with that being said, I love it, man. Where can somebody get a hold of you? Yeah. Uh, my phone number 602-348-8534. Uh, Justin Thorsted.com, YouTube at mindset coach JT, Facebook, Instagram, homing pigeon, smoke signal, whatever. It's the Mexican yeah. that was Mario. Good. That was good. Mexican nope. Mario. <laughs> Mexican <laughs> Mario song. Or La Bamba, whatever you want to call it. Yeah. yeah. Potatoes, potatoes. All right, fam. I hope you enjoyed the podcast as much as I did. Uh, do us a favor, right? Subscribe, like, and share. Send this out to somebody who you think might benefit from you know, just hearing two lunatics talk about mindset and, and uh, entrepreneurship and business and just, you know, putting ourselves out there. Um, but do us a favor. Help us spread the love. It's a two-way street. Uh, if you have something that you want us to bring up or have a conversation with us, um, you know, either come into the show. We have space for one more. Yeah. Uh, and uh, or drop it in the comments. Right. We'll be uh, sure to address it. And then with that being said, I love you all. Uh, stay focused. You got this. Let's go. <laughs>